Hey everyone, it's Brandon from Top 10 Gamer again, coming at you today with a look at a PC build from $400 to $500. That's right, there's two PC builds in this video. I'm going to try to make it really fast because I've got to head to the gym. I've got a goal to lose 50 pounds this year. Uh, it's kind of fun to make YouTube videos and be losing weight at the same time because you can actually look at yourself a few months ago and see if you've made any progress. It looks like my face has shrunk just like a little bit so far, so eh, I'm seeing results, so, so I'll stick to it. It's kind of intimidating going to the gym, though, and seeing like all those meatheads, and they're looking at you, and you're not perfectly in shape, and uh, anyway, you look in the mirror, and compared to them, you, you feel like a thousand pounds, but anyway, I don't care about all that. I just want to feel good. So anyway, back to the PC build. Again, this is from $400 to $500. And if you didn't watch my last video, I'm actually going to be building these PCs after I get a little feedback from you guys uh, here within a few months. So what I want to do is put them together, see real world FPS. I want to install Steam on them and I want to install Windows and compare the two. Obviously, there aren't that many... Uh, Steam OS supported games still, but we can at least get a pretty good idea of what everything looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to throw up the build side by side here. As you can see, for the $400 build, the CPU is an FX6300. For the $500 build, we have the FX8320. Now, uh, for that 8320, try to find it under $150. Lately, I've been seeing it around $157, but during uh, December, I actually found it as low as 130. So uh, patience is a virtue when it comes to building a budget PC and you are rewarded for looking around. So uh, when I go to build this, there's no way I'm going to spend any more than $150 uh, when I do the $500 build. And for the FX6300, try to find it for about 115 I think regularly it's 120 So just save money anywhere you can. And for the graphics card, they're actually going to be the same on both because I needed a little wiggle room in the $500 build. And we're going with the Radeon HD 7790, the Asus 1GB version. It'd be nice to go with the 2GB version here, but it's just going to be too expensive. There's a nice rebate for this graphics card this month. Now on to the memory. We have Kingston HyperX, the 4GB 1600MHz version. For the $400 build and for the $500 build, there's the G-Skill G Sniper Series, the 8 gigabytes. The model I specifically am mentioning here is the F314900CL9D-8GBSR. Uh, fantastic RAM for about 80 bucks. Uh, you can probably get about uh, 8 gigabytes of HyperX if you want to go that route for 70 bucks and save just a little bit of money. Uh, for motherboard, I'm going to recommend the same for both of these builds. It's the ASUS. M58A78L-MLX Plus. This is an AM3 Plus motherboard, currently with a $10 rebate. Now, if you're looking for USB 3 and SATA 3, uh, you can also look for the ASRock 960GM-U3S3. Now, this is a solid option in about the $50 price range. It's also on rebate this month, I believe. And there's a couple issues with it. Now, first of all, this would work really well with your FX6300, but it was it's actually not compatible with the FX8320. There's actually an FX8300, but I don't believe you can buy it in the States. So you might wanna look around for that or just use the FX6300 if you'd rather have this inexpensive motherboard that uh, is both USB 3 and SATA 3 compatibility, compatible, but you won't want to use a, a CPU that's over 95 watts with it. Okay, for power supply this month, I'm going with the CX430 from Corsair, mainly because you can get a $20 uh, rebate card from Newegg. Uh, that might be a general rebate as well. I'll have to look at that. But uh, anyway, very good deal. I'd actually prefer to have around a 500 watt PSU for this particular build. Uh, from what I calculated, it looks like the one build is going to be about 280 watts, the $400 build, and about 312 watts for the other build with no, no DVD player on this build. Um, I'm just assuming you're going to download the games or you have one you can, you can take from another rig. But anyway, that's what we get on this machine. Which And, and I like to go about 25% over on the power supply, 25 to 30% over, uh, just to make up for... Uh, degradation over time in, in the power supply and, and the max wattage that it can actually output. Uh, and here you get that in the in the 
CX430, but above that, you could go for the 500 watt version if you're looking to upgrade down the road. Okay, for cases, we've got the Rosewill FBM-01. I've used this case several times in the past. Uh, it is a little bit flimsy, but it holds up well. It looks pretty good. And hey, it only costs $30 retail. So try to find it for as low as $20. I've bought it at that price before. Uh, it comes with two fans and uh, it'll fit a micro ATX motherboard for the $500 build. We're actually gonna go with the Rosewill Challenger, which will fit the, the micro and standard ATX uh, motherboards uh, that you purchase. Even though we're using a micro one, uh, this is just a much better case overall. Completely much mesh in the front and it comes with three fans. So really good airflow for, for what you pay and I definitely recommend it. Now for hard drive, we're gonna go with the Western Digital um, blue 500 gigabyte drive. Try to find it for around 50 bucks and then you'll be able to stay within your $400 and $500 budget. Okay, so that's the entire build. You could, of course, in the $500 build, uh, swap out the processor for the FX6300 and then go for something like the HD7850. You'd probably get a little more performance overall, but I'm just looking at this from my perspective if I was coming in as a completely new PC builder. I would go with a slightly better PC or <laughs> PCU, CPU because I think in the FX8320, you get a CPU that's gonna last several years. Whereas graphics cards, you're gonna swap them in and out. You could use that FX8320 for maybe even the next five years. And as Mantle uh, is released and as we see developers utilize more CPU cores, that CPU will, will only get better in its efficiency. Okay, so that's my build for January 2014, heading into the rest of this year. Uh, it may change slightly by the time I get this build built. Um, maybe you guys have a, a part that you think should uh, be swapped out or you have some good ideas or get good benchmarks to run by me. I'm, I am game for any of that. So throw it down in the comment section below. We'll have a discussion. Talk to me at facebook.com slash top 10 gamer. I go there every day to answer any personal questions you have uh, about your builds or any any computer questions at all. You know, just just let me know. So, uh, like and subscribe. Again, the more subscribers we get, the bigger and better these videos can be, and the more accurate and everything this information can be. Hopefully, in the future, I can bring to you uh, cutting edge products that that you've never seen before. Things like that. I'm hoping to put in front of you uh, professional gamers. That is why I named the channel Top 10 Gamer because I want to interview uh, Twitch streamers and people like that. If you guys have a channel, let me know about it and maybe I'll talk about you. Maybe I won't. You know, if you're doing good things, I'll talk about you. So anyway, that's all I have for today. Like and subscribe again and we'll see you next time.